There are moments when I get so frustrated with work, the work that I do on court that I have to get outside the courtroom to be able to be in the community. I was just in class the other day with some kids. They, they you know, these, these, the, the lady sent me this. She's like, uh, Your Honor, we know you're busy, but we got some students that we want you to talk to. And, and she, she prefaced it by saying, they are in a work in progress, <clears throat> so please be patient when I get there. So, you know, I get into the school, it's snowing, it's cold, I take time off the bench, I get there, and I, I'm in the room with these kids, and they looking at me like, whatever. Got their hoodies on their head, AirPods on, they ain't paying no attention, they done tuned out. And so I'm sitting there like, am I really about to spend an hour and a half with these kids? And then my mind says, oh yes you are, and you about to give them everything, you about to give them the funk, you about to give them the laughter, you about to give them joy, you about to bring energy, you about to give it to them. And that's what I do all the time. I bring the energy. I bring the love. And some people are like, well you got to tell these kids to be in their place, they got to respect, they got to respect. I said, no, no, before they can respect me, they need to trust me. So let me show them what trust and love looks like. And we start talking about music, trap music. We start talking about what's going on. I'm up there bopping with them. I'm up there, you know, getting in with them. We have a good time. And before they know it, I'm in their space. And when I'm in their space, I start sowing seeds into their consciousness about who they are, about what they can become. And it was crazy because we were in that group yesterday, and these kids, I had two little young girls, one sitting next to me, and she didn't understand by sitting next to me. She was getting all that energy coming off me, going back into her, and I was sowing goodness into her. And we sitting around the room, and at first year, she was full of attitude, trying to cut me off. And the more we kept talking, the more she kept realizing, getting more quiet, more quiet, 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 listening, listen, listen, listen. And by the end of the class, she said to me, I think I want to become a judge. I said, girl, you just don't understand. Dane County ain't never had a black woman represent. You be the first up in here. I said, I'll retire when you come get a, when you get elected to take the bench. I'll be, I'll be right there ready for you, all right? And she said, bet. I said, bet, 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 bet. A girl who walked in, totally disconnected from the process. I gave her some time. I gave her some light. But I gave her that light, the darkness that she didn't think of what she could not become was removed and the light shined in her consciousness. And she said it with her own mouth. I think I want to be a judge. That is what the light of the time brings you. Every time you're in spaces where people don't expect you, you bring your light. Every time you're in places where you give your time, you bring in your light, you bring your consciousness, you bring your energy. So whatever you do with your life, make sure you're giving people time. I know you're serving, but give time. I know you're busy, but give time. I know you don't want to, but give time. Find places to give time, because time is light. And the only way we're going to ever change this world, we got to give light.